FBI. Yes, ran down yes. on Eric Adams. Wow. They seized the cell phones of New York City Mayor Eric Adams as part of a federal investigation what? into campaign fundraising. So, no matter what happens here, we can all agree that, and this is a bold statement, that this is not a good look. It's not. <laughs> no matter. Not a good, it, he not bro, it's not a good optic. It's a hot take. This is not a good optic or a good look. Now, remember, he Same has thing. not been accused of any wrongdoing so far, but he is, you know, um, it's his campaign, the, the the woman that was raising his campaign funds, who was the one that was originally under investigation and currently is, too, right now. So okay. that is not what, yo, Four that donations. is not what you want. No, this is not this it. This is not it. Damn. Yeah. You know, it's, 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 it's not good. They're, they're saying that he was uh, basically what they figured out right now. The question is, is did he receive illegal funds from Turkey? Yeah. Oh, foreign and I guess, money. No. I guess, the, I guess the evidence that they say they have is that apparently some sort of project that was done by Turks here in New York was like sped along by the Adams administration. Mm. So that's, that's what they're going with. Mm. So. By the way, I'm sure this is something that all mayors in this town have done. But somebody's gunning for Mayor Adams on this one. This can't be that. Like, it's not what you want. It's a bad look. But this doesn't. New York City corruption gets crazy. I know what you're saying. It's like. Well, it, look how long it's taken them to try to get anything on Trump in any way, right? Right. It would it would make wouldn't it make sense that with the black mayor somehow the process is sped up by oh, nine thousand yeah. percent? Oh man! Now don't get me wrong, I, Mayor Adams makes himself a target in a lot of ways, but at the same time, it's like this is happening awful quick. A target from the FBI? Yeah, or no, whoever. I wouldn't think that. You, you would think he'd be a political target of yeah, other but, people. And maybe, maybe this is that. Maybe this. Maybe is this that. is just that. Maybe this is that. But it's still one of these. Hit the button. Congratulations. You played yourself. And, uh, and he's saying he has nothing to hide. He of said, course. As a former member of law enforcement, I expect all members of my staff right. to follow the law and yes. cooperate. That's right. Like, I will do exactly that. I, have I still find it weird that he's like, every day in our meetings, we tell everyone, follow the law. I'm like, does that really require being said every day? <laughs> this should kind of be built in. To uh, what you evidence do. suggests, bro. Yeah, you yeah, may want to remind people know. every day that you're serious. But guess what? People also, and you know, with Trump and and everybody else has uh, serious allegations. You want to see people held accountable. That's something I don't think we see frequent enough. Accountability, actual accountability beyond this, right. just dragging through the mud. And we went to a trial, and then ah, nothing happened. Uh, you get thirty days probation or something. And people are like, really? People have that over subway tickets. But we also got to talk about the Giants oh, and the Jets. Oh, that was the reason for the yourself. extendo clip of the congratulations you played yourself button flying today. Well, you have the Jets who lost 16-12 to the Raiders in the game they absolutely needed to win for their playoff hunt. And then you have Wait, the Giants. Wait, what was the final score? 16-12. The, the Jets still didn't score a touchdown. <laughs> no way. What's going on, man? Yo, the Jets haven't scored a touchdown since the Jets-Giants game a few weeks ago. They don't score touchdowns. <laughs> yeah. Like, if that's your goal, they don't do that. They don't score touchdowns. Yo, that is a button. And Zach Wilson had the yourself. ball. Two minutes left at the Raiders 15. Yo, okay. Ebro, look it up. He threw the most obvious, awful interception. Like, just a brutal... The second it leaves his hands, you're like, no, game-ending interception. Those are those make-or-break, should-be-make-or-break. Let me say should-be-make-or-break moments for a quarterback. Primetime TV. Oh, no, no. With a, cha with a, with a, a chance with, to win, game on the game, line. Major, a game with major playoff implications. Whole country's watching. You're, you're not playing a good team, and you're in a position to score. Wow. And, yeah, uh, 
I'll be curious to hear what uh, Robert Sala says when we have him on the K show this afternoon. Cross last promo. Week, he's quick promo because last week he sounded like he was about to melt down. I was like, Coach, I'm not gonna lie, you sound like you've, you're 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 losing it. Well, then I'm I'm reading an article here about how many penalties they have on themselves, things they keep screwing up. How bad were the penalties yesterday? I mean, according to this article, that's the reason that they kept falling off. Oh, yeah. The, well, they definitely had a touchdown of Wilson's come back. He did rush for a touchdown that came back on a penalty. You can't do it. Now, the Giants, hey, listen, it, the Jets are awful, but their defense is so good that they're in football games. The Giants are doing a thing now that you can't even really call it football. They, mm. they lost 49-17 Damn. to the Cowboys yeah. yesterday. Yeah, and, and and I'm going to read you the stats of their quarterback, Tommy DeVito. Story who everybody loves because he's from Jersey. He's literally living in his mother's house right now as Come his on, quarterback DeVito. for the team. Congrats, man. That's dope. And that part's dope. Here's what's not as dope. 14 of 27 for 86 no, yards. No, nah, no. That's it's, Ebro, when was the last time you heard 86 yards? Listen, though. But listen, bro. He Listen. Zach, as long as the guy with the Jets still got a job, y'all leave DeVito alone, man. Let, let bro try to get comfortable. That's all you got anyway. Stop hating. Yeah, I mean, they don't have an option with Daniel Jones out. <laughs> Stop so. hating. Yo, it's crazy. You look around. Hit, hit both teams with a button because they can't seem to you find someone yourself. who will play a position. And then you look at this dude, Josh Dobbs, who was in Arizona to start the year. Bruh. He's balling out now. He was on a team that they wanted to lose. They were like, put this bum on. He can't play. Laura, Guess their what? Quarterback, the quarterback didn't even know the guy's names that he was playing with. Yeah. No, he didn't know the up plays. And, and it didn't know plays, didn't know anybody's name. They still won a game. And these New York football teams can't. <laughs> they can't find yeah, anyone. Yeah, I've been practicing for months. Now, listen, good news, though. Aaron Rodgers Aaron yeah. Rodgers said yesterday his plan is to come back in mid-December. So, Ebro, are you ready to hit the button on someone coming back from an Achilles tear in three months? Man, I'm, I, I don't want to. I want it to all work out for everybody, including Jets fans, because this is a, that was. People forget how much of a travesty that is, was, is. What that on the fourth play on with the, the greatest fourth quarterback play of, of all one time? of the biggest moments in your franchise's history. It's about to go down. It goes down in the worst way. Oh, no, he went down. He Bro, went down you know how traumatizing that's got to be? I don't oh, even think Jets have actually, Jets fans have healed from the era. Like, there's healing that needs to go down. <laughs> Therapy. <laughs> no, you know what, the, Laura, you know what the Jets fans need? Laura, what? you fell asleep? Laura, wake up. <laughs> I said, Laura, what? wake up. I got to talk to you. Laura, I'm the one inundated. Laura, you know what the Jets, you, you know what the Jets fans need, Laura? What? They need the same edibles Ebro's off right now. That's what the Jets fans need, all right? They need to feel like this because this has been a long, long ride. But now Aaron Rodgers says he'll come back. So the question is, could the Jets actually keep this thing semi-afloat between now and when Rodgers comes back? Now, the Raiders was one you had to get because next week the Jets go to play the Bills. Probably a loss, even though the Bills have not been good. Well, are you uh, trying to be nice to Jets fans and make this better or worse? What are you doing? Well, you're four and five. I'm trying to find It's all a, way. a button. It's all this segment. It's all the whole thing is this segment. You you're you're searching, find a way. Play the Tribe Call Quest joint. I'm trying to find a way. Do something. Yeah, but it's fine. not, the path is not there. It's a, it's a mess. And why is Zach Wilson still your quarterback? There needs yep. to be an investigation. I've never seen anything like this. Someone getting to keep a job when you're Yo, bro, bad at it? they was kicking him out the locker room last year. Yeah, they were they kicking were... him out of the locker room. They were like, yo, we didn't even want him on the team. No, they fell in love with the backup, Mike White. Fell in love. Then got rid of him. Yo, the, yo, there needs to be an investigation. Or at least one of these documentaries on how this kid maintained 